Hello dear friends, this is Dr. Jambukeshwaran, Preplada's Orthopedic Faculty for you. So this is basically a small real video, uh, just how to go ahead, how to read our rapid revision notes which we have framed in question and answer format. Okay, how simple it is, just you see. I am going to discuss a very important topic that has been asked in NEET, INICT, FMG several times just to finish a very important topic in 3 to 3 and a half minutes. You see, this is the question number 5.6. We are going to discuss a very important topic uh, uh, that is bone cyst, bone cyst, which is called simple bone cyst, otherwise called unicameral bone cyst. Because bone cyst means it is divided into two types, aneurysmal bone cyst, unicameral bone cyst. Unicameral bone cyst is otherwise called simple bone cyst. That is the topic which we are going to see now. What are the key features of unicameral bone cyst, otherwise called simple bone cyst is the question. The very, very essence point, the important point, it affects the metaphyseal end of the long bone. Whenever we are discussing about a bone tumor, we should know whether it involves epiphysis, metaphysis or diaphysis. Okay. So, this is a metaphyseal bone tumor, bone cyst. Metaphyseal bone, the simple bone cyst affects the metaphysis. Common site, the most common site is upper end of humerus. Second common site is proximal femur. Most common age group, children. So, when you take an aspiration cytology for histopathology, it will show you giant cells. Then you will be in a doubt. Giant cell tumor also shows giant cell. Simple bone cyst, he is telling, shows giant cell. That is why bone cysts are the closest possible differential diagnosis for giant cell tumor. They all come under giant cell variants. Okay, actually in pathology book, it comes under giant cell variants. So, how to differentiate? Very simple, giant cell tumor affects the epiphysis. Okay, this affects the metaphysis. That's why I said this is the key point. This is the key point. Then, second important thing we should know, what are the radiological findings of a simple bone cyst, otherwise a unicameral bone cyst. Number one, it shows a lytic lesion affecting the juxta epiphyseal portion of the metaphysis. Again and again and again, I am insisting the point, it affects the metaphysis. It shows the classical one lakh time repeated question, fallen fragment sign. What is fallen fragment sign? You just see this upper end of humerus, a lytic lesion. I am able to see a lytic lesion here. A bone, a small bone fragment is fallen. Why it is called fallen fragment sign? Fallen fragment sign is a hallmark radiological sign of unicameral bone cyst, otherwise called simple bone cyst. Why it is called fallen fragment? It is gravity dependent. When my arm is like this, it will fall here. When I lift my arm and take the x-ray, it will fall here. So it is gravity determined. That is why it's called fallen fragment sign, a gold standard sign. Okay, so we have completed the feature we had completed the radiological character the general characteristic radiologic finally what is the treatment of choice treatment of choice is complete excision surgical excision is the treatment of choice since it's a big lytic lesion you are going to completely excess scoop out no the bone becomes weak sometimes you may have to fill this gap fill that excavated area with bone cement okay bone cement this is but this is depends upon the size the treatment of choice is complete excision see within three to three and a half minutes we have completed a very important topic simple bone cyst other is called unicameral bone cyst that's all only this much point whatever book you read only the essence points are only this much you see how simple like this this rapid revision notes no definitely very easy way of revising the subject okay so all the best dear friends happy reading